Well, a very good evening to you on what is pretty close to an ideal evening for football. There is a barely a cloud evident. The world and his wife have gone to great lengths to be here for a match of great consequence and massive interest in these parts. Barely a breath of wind, so the football has no excuses for not being at its very best. The teams I know are pumped for this. They are fantastic scenes in the stands. There is a great sense of drama here, a great sense of excitement and expectation. The instantly recognisable single Ibuna Park, one of Europe's most unforgettable stadiums. Two high-profile, high-calibre teams. This is a welcome event for all these supporters. Yes, Peter, it's a shame it's only a, a friendly, but then again, that may help us see a more expressive attacking contest. And I'd be prepared to settle for a, a clash of, of lesser intensity in favour of, of lots of flair, skill and plenty of tricks and a few goals. I suspect I've probably overstretched my, my level of greed here. So it's away we go then. Jim, which player is best equipped for this game? Yeah, Jan Oblak. He's not someone you often see pulling off spectacular saves, but that's about the highest compliment you can give a goalkeeper because it speaks to his positioning and his organisational abilities. He's just about the best there is when it comes to, to claiming crosses and high balls into the box too. And is just the kind of presence that spreads a, a and the shot, and he's done it. What a start, and what a contribution from the main man. I had a feeling he might do something, given his reputation, but to do it like that, absolutely brilliant. I wasn't expecting that. Borussia Dortmund are really pouncing on any straight passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter-attacking penalty. Atletico Madrid didn't expect this, that's for sure. What can they do now? Llorente. Saul. Hoists it forward. It's a long ball, but it's not hit its target. Meunier. Borussia Dortmund making the ideal start, it is something to build on. Always when you score early, it gives you such a lift and it, it casts doubt in the minds of your opponents at the same time. And that pretty much sums up the difference in what we've seen. One team assured, the other a little unsure. Meunier. Forward it goes. Borussia Dortmund are seeing a lot of the ball and have a 1-0 lead to show for it. Well positioned to make that interception. It's come loose. Jimenez. 
has been just the early goal here, and it's 1-0. And it's played forward, Schuller cuts it out. Tries to get it forward quickly. Hoists it high, and he's cut it out. That was one quality pass away from being a very decent... Meunier has been caught there, it's a foul. He has resisted the temptation to go to his pocket, it's just a stern lecture. Jimenez. Gabriel. Yeah, that does look a foul. Referee's given a free kick. Loses his balance and loses the ball. Brought forward. What does he try from here? He came in hard, very hard. Strong challenge, but well within the laws. Battles to win it back. Saul. Deftly done. And he's there to cut it out. Saul needed to come up with a better ball. Uh, Peter, his body shape was a giveaway before he made the pass, and its obviousness was, was appreciated. Koke. And it's Koke. Griezmann. Oh, what? He's gone for it! Oh, that's a terrific save from the keeper! The keeper really dug out his defence then, a magnificent effort. Great leap! Oh, Tense, just the wrong outcome. Marcos Llorente did give it a fair old crack, and he'll be encouraged to step up again. Produced just one goal. A decent game up to now. Well, this team has found a real rhythm to their game. The players seem to have clicked well. There's good movement off the ball. The passes are sticking. No one's afraid to have a go. Borussia Dortmund leading a cagey game here. It's had its moments, and it's one nil at the break. And the action has already resumed here. A solitary goal. That has been the crucial difference. Brandt Chan Across the field it goes And it's Royce Llorente and now they can launch a counter. It was a move that looked promising, but uh, eventually thwarted it without doing any harm. Oh, no, that's not the ball he wanted. Good challenge, he just stood firm. It's Morath going for goal! 
Atletico Madrid showing a little more urgency now, and to be honest, Peter, this is what's required. This isn't the time to talk about risks now, Jim, is it? They just have to hurl everything at it and hope for a break. Just has to be done. Forward it goes. All black gets it upfield. Balls out on the left now. Going through. Had a foul. Yes, the uh, referee's given it. Borussia Dortmund making consecutive changes here. Tries to get it clear. Doesn't need a second invitation, even from that range. Tries to switch the play. Fence has got rid of that. He spotted the run and played it through. Correa. He's been bundled over. That is a foul. Ticking off and needs to be very careful now. He just needs to find the control button on his aggression before the ref does it for him, Peter. Hit long and direct. Atletico Madrid are definitely not going down without a scrap. Their attitude just can't be faulted. He's brushed off the ball there. And it's Saul. He's got options out wide. Plenty waiting in the middle. And here's to Pai. Borussia Dortmund leading here by this still precarious 1 0 margin. Sancho. Gabriel. Borussia Dortmund just have to run down the clock. Tries to get it forward quickly. Correa. Crunching tackle. Correa has got himself a free kick. Atletico Madrid need to give it everything they have, kitchen sink included. All black will lay claim to that. Added time is up, and there goes the whistle. Borussia Dortmund, hold on. It's a narrow squeak, bit of luck, some judgment. 1-0 the score at the final whistle. Your reflections then, Jim? Well, a result which owed much to grind and graft, Peter. Not the prettiest of wins, but a very professional performance, I would say. And a clean sheet, of course, is, is always very welcome. And that's where we have to end it. From me, Peter Drury, and my co
commentator Jim Beglin. Very good.